Hey besties, today we are preparing plantain with some turkey berries and garden eggs abomu or sauce. I want to take you to the small town, small village. I, my village to be precise. Let's dive into the video. Guys, we will need a pin plantain for this recipe and some turkey berries. I'll tell you more about the turkey berries. And this is onions, this is cured fish, kobe, and tomatoes, pepper, garden eggs, mackerel, and um, cured fish, okay, which is more money. So substitute this with kobe if that's what you want, okay? So I'll go ahead and soak my cocoa in water because it's too salty. Set it aside and prep my turkey berries. I remove the fruit from the stem. That's what you do till you're done, okay? So guys, let's peel off our plantain. You create a line on your plantain and gently remove the green from the skin, okay? So my beginners, I hope you watched it. We will take it again. So you just scrape the skin. If you want a delicious apple plantain, do your plantain this way or prepare your plantain this way. So beginners, let's take it again, okay? Take your plantain, create a line on a plantain, and then gently remove the green from the skin, as you are seeing, and then gently use your knife to scrape off the skin. Just keep doing it, okay? And you're going to thank me later. It will taste so delicious and very, very tender, easy to chew, okay? So add generous amounts of water. Wash it very well and transfer it onto your cooking pot, guys. That is what we do, okay? So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you to all my subscribers, my retainees, my newbies. God bless you. Keep doing the magic. So I added salt to taste, okay? And then some eggs. This is washed very well. Please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so that when I post, you'll be the first person to get notified for free. So I'll just cover and then transfer it onto my stove and prep the garden eggs, okay? So you just cut off the head of the garden egg as you're seeing just divide it into four you can divide it into two because i just want it to cook faster that is why wash it very well transfer it onto your cooking pot okay okay and then add some turkey berries guys do you know that you can add turkey berries onto your green chili sauce mm, this is one kitchen tip for you follow for more so i added some onion to taste okay and transfer this onto my stove as well at this point i'll grind some garlic and ginger whilst waiting for the vegetables to cook okay did you know that all parts of turkey berry plants including its root stem leaves and fruit are used for medicinal and culinary purposes throughout the world hmm now you know so we checked on the plantain and it's almost done so let's check on the vegetables it's also almost done okay guys at this point our plantain is cooked it is ready okay so i will show you what to do just follow the process and trust the process so when you take your plantain from fire don't strain the water go ahead and add cold water you will thank me later for that so our vegetables are also cooked so i added the pepper and then the onions first so when i'm done blending and um, grinding it i'll go ahead and grind the turkey berries as well note no blending here sometimes the, the, the turkey berries are difficult to grind but just let's go ahead and do it okay it's for its medicinal purpose and for its benefits so just think about that and then keep doing it so i added the garden eggs as well at this point i am done grinding okay you bab so i'll just put my pot on the stove and then add some palm oil go in with the cured fish and then my cocoa okay so i'll fry it for like two minutes and then add my um tomatoes i chopped some tomatoes so i'm going to add the tomatoes to it so after adding the tomatoes i'll let it cook for like a minute or two 
and then i'll grind the tomatoes and the cured fish that is just the momoni and then the tomatoes okay you can choose to leave it like that but guys just follow this process and you're going to thank me later so right now i have the cocoa in the oil so i'll go ahead and add the onions and then i'll fry it for just one minute and then add my salmon guys so i added some salt to taste okay so i'll fry the salmon too for like one minute just one minute and i'll go ahead and pour everything onto my mixture my abomo guys just just do something like this do it exactly how i've done and you will thank me later note i'm going to leave all the ingredients in my youtube description button so do well to check okay so guys at this point i garnished with some eggs as i said go ahead and add anything your kobe your pear i didn't get some but you can go ahead and do it i bring you nothing but the best my name is dr rosie bye